my father's work was largely forgotten and written out of the history books. In the in-between war years, he's not mentioned at all by critics and artist historians. It's difficult to tell a little bit, there's so much to tell. He had an extremely adventurous life. He is Ernest Neuschul, who was very famous indeed in Berlin in the 1920s and 30s. In my career, I was very influenced by my father to take up the same career. At the time when he was born, the Jews considered themselves as a progressive element in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. When the 1914-18 war broke out, my father was convinced that he would not want to shoot anyone or be part of the war. The war years 14 to 18 were spent escaping from conscription, first of all by starving himself, and then later when that was not sufficient and they would take even skeletons into the war. Every time he was interviewed for conscription by doctors dressed in white coats, he would attack them so that he wouldn't be conscripted. He had to escape to Poland, and he stayed there in Poland until the end of the war, and then came, came out of it with expressionist works, which I think is quite understandable because of the pressure he was under and the kind of mental strain that he was under, that his works would show that strain. One of the works which the New York Gallery has is now called Mashiach, the Messiah, and it shows him as an, a new Messiah that is bursting forth on to, into the world after the war in a way to transform it, because he really thought that art was capable of inner transformation for, 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 for people, for generally people. Impressionism has to do with the impression of the outside world, the visual impression of the outside world. And expressionism maybe has to do with the expression of the inward world. It is a direct expression of how you feel inwardly, but it can be inwardly about the outward world. It doesn't have to be an abstract expressionism. It can be your inward feelings about what the world is like. My father used to say that it came from a mistrust in the reality of the outer world. In England, when he came here as an immigrant in 1939, he found no success at all with his newer works. He was quite largely forgotten. So it's very important that something like this exhibition at, at Leicester has these works by my father and that he's celebrated for that so that the legacy of his work remains. <laughs>